Hi guys, uh, my name's Noah. Welcome to the Gaming Arc. It's been a very long time since uh, you last saw mine or husband's face on this channel. Uh, lockdown kind of took its toll, but you know, we've got back into a bit of a routine and so now I finally can sit down and play all the games that I made a list of during quarantine. So if I'm wearing the same outfit for the next 20 videos, don't judge me. <laughs> so today we are going to start off with a nice simple game that I've seen being played and I'm really interested in it and I think it will be quite fun. It's called Sort the Court. This game is a very simple game, it's uh, a yes or no game, um, you are a ruler, you're trying to sort your court by growing your kingdom by making yes or no decisions, so I'm, I'm a queen. Oh, I'm so pretty. My lady, I'll help you rule our kingdom, but you have to make the tough choices. Just say yes or no, understand? Yes. Good, you've already got the hang of it. I'm going to choose my keyboard. Our city is still very small right now, but it certainly has the potential to grow. Perhaps one day we will have a bustling metropolis and you'll be invited to join the Council of Crowns. For, all, for now, all you need to concern yourself is with keeping the citizens happy and growing our population. Do your best, madame. Thank you, royal advisor. You look kind of sad. Grandma! Hey, I was considering opening up the soup shop. Think it's a good idea? I need some gold. I don't know why she's a uh, Texan. I can't even do a Texan accent, but that's apparently what she is. Yes, Grandma, you can have some gold. See? So each time I make a decision, um, thingies come up determining how good or bad that decision was. Very well, I'll sell my soup in the town square. I'm not good at accents, but we're going to try this. Oh, hello. Blacksmith, okay. I'm a blacksmith and I'd like to set up shop here. I can pay my own way, I just need your permission. What do you say? Again, don't know what accent that was. I'm just going to go with it. Yes. Good sir, you can join. Ha ha! Yes, I'll show you my incredible skill. Just you wait. Uh, you're a bumblebee. Madame Avier? Avier? Aviel. You're French, so I'm sure that means B in French, but I don't know how you pronounce that. Bonjour, my name is Madame Avier. And I've come to join your court. Will you have me? Yes, why not? Mm-hmm. Oh, how sweet. I'm sure make wonderful adventures await us. Okay, Madame Abiel. Lil Fang. <laughs> oh, is that your rapper name, Lil Fang? Hello, friend. Care to gaze into my magical crystal ball? I don't know consequences that's gonna have but let's go with the yes oh little fair you betrayed me you killed people and you killed their happiness day one complete uh minus one in population minus four now because freaking four people have left people are sad the city is shrinking well that's not good Ah, oh, Royal Advisor, I need your help. There's a petition going round to open our borders to the neighbouring town. What do you say? Yes, we could always do with growing our population. Oh, you can see in the background the little village like expands. That's really cute. Together our towns will grow stronger. I agree, Royal Advisor, who I should give a name to. Little Timmy, who's also got a rap name. I'm Little Timmy! <laughs> Nice to meet ya. You like ice cream? I do like ice cream. Mwah, me too. Okay. Bye. Who let this child in my court? Lil Fang. I don't trust you. But you're coming in during the day. Will that still have the same... 
Yes. Oh, little fair, you betrayed me again. Oh, okay, hello. Military general. A nearby tower. A nearby tower. No, why am I always making them southern? They don't need to be southern. A nearby town has asked us to form an alliance with them. Should we use them to beef up our ranks? Yeah. So we can protect ourselves and them. Mm -hmm. Sounds good to me. More swords for us. Alright, military general. That's not the fault process I was going for. All seeing eyes just staring at me. Does it want something? I presume so, else he wouldn't have come to see me. Ah! Money! Population has increased. Oh, happiness has decreased. What? The people are sad the city is shrinking. How dare they? I brought them lots of money and population. They should be happy. Nah, that's not exactly what happiness is, but, but that's basically the aim of the game. So I'm just gonna just go do this. Okay, royal advisor, royal advisor. I'm going to call you. What call you, Stacy? I don't know why, that's just the default name that's just popped into my head. Stacy, darling, what have you got for me? Since we opened our borders, trade from our caravans has increased dramatically. Do you wish to tax the merchants? Yes, that is how it works. I will collect a fee from the traders. Oh, boo-hoo, no one's happy about taxes, but that's how things work. I'll make sure they go to the good things. Uh, Gandalf, wizard. I was just passing through and thought you might like s I was just passing through and thought you might like some magic. Anything could happen. Care to give it a try? Kind of magic, Gandalf. Yes. <gasps> Ooh, interesting. Seems like it went well for you. Do you mean that it could it, what? That means it could have gone bad for me. What kind of wizard are you? Gandalf. Uh Jester. Ooh, I wish to put on a show. May I have some funds to do so? Why do you talk like that, Jester? Yes. That is a lot of money, Jester. Ooh, ho, 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 very good. You better do good with those 50. I don't want them squandered, Jester. Mason. Ah, oh, what an appropriate name for a builder. Uh... I wish to construct a tavern, but I'll need some gold from you to make it happen. He's a uh, cockney? He's whatever the heck I just said. I'm talking a considerable amount of gold here, like a couple hundred at least. What do you think? Uh, fine. The town folks will be happy to have a place to drink. Thank you, Mason. Ah, Stacy. Citizens say a monkey has been running around flinging stuff at them. Should we put out a, ban a bounty on it? A bounty on it. Yes, you shouldn't be throwing stuff at people. We'll have that monkey captured in no time. I believe in you. Oh, the jester show was loved by the court and put everyone into a happy mood. The pretty... Oh, hiccups. The 50 coins were worth it. Well done, Jester. The people are happy. The city is growing. Yes. Look at our city grow. Ah, Madame Abiel. Bonjour. I just finished moving in, but I would like to request an assistance for my own. May I have but one Tessa? Uh... Sure. Ah, thank you, my sweet. Okay, bye bye. Ah, military general, we've captured some foes on the battlefield. Shall we bring them home and put them to work? At slavery. I'm gonna say no. I understand, however, we need to do something with them. 
Shall we ransom the captured foes for a bit of gold? Just put them in jail! Why are you holding them for ransom? No, just put them in jail! No, I'm at a loss what to do with them. Yes! That's jail. Perhaps they'll be used for us later. That's not military, general. That's not, that's not how it works, okay? You put them in jail, they serve their time, you reform them, and then you release them back into society and provide them with the necessary support for them to be a citizen of either our town or the town that they came from. Uh, Chester. I'm hungry. Can I eat some of your fox? I've got plenty of gold so I can pay you back for their lives. Okay, firstly, you can't quantify someone's life with gold, so no. Have fun, I'll leave them alone. That literally had no consequences because you shouldn't eat people. Mwah. Can my friends come over and play? Uh, sure, don't know why you're asking me. Don't you have a mother? Do you not have a mother? Little Timmy, do you not have a mother? Thank you! Sneaky girl. Want me to steal from the rich and give to you? Not just the rich, I'll steal from whoever, basically. Uh, I'm gonna say no because I'm pretty sure I'm the richest person here. And that means you're just going to stand for my citizens. So... Taking the high road, huh? See you around. See you around, sneaky girl. I should technically put you in the dungeons. Prisoners in the dungeons have been giving the guards a hard time. Nobody escaped, but it's pretty noisy down there. Well... The people are happy and the city is growing. You're a skeleton. Skelly. You've got a skeleton of your own, you know. Don't you find it weird that you can't see it? Not if I don't think too hard about it. You don't think anything is weird, do you? I think plenty of things are weird. I think the fact that you're walking skeletons is pretty weird, but okay. Wizard, I was just passing through and thought you might like some magic. Anything could happen. Care to give it a try? Well, it worked for me last time. Yes. Ah, my apologies. I guess the spell turned out to be evil. What are you, Gandalf? Are you an evil wizard or are you a good wizard? Because... Or are you just chaotic? <laughs> Monsieur Esprit. If you call it as a castle, yes. Indeed it is, trick question. Uh, righty then. Oh, you're so pretty. You have, oh, Rapunzel. Plants are interesting, don't you think? I would like to open a garden. May I have some workers to help me? Yes. Thank you, I'll send them back as soon as they're done. Okay. Little Timmy, Little Timmy, where's your mum? Why are you out? It's late, it's dark, you should be at home, in bed, probably having a story read to you or something, but like, why are you here? Who let you in? Where are my guards? Why are they letting little children walk into my court? That's not okay. And why do you start every sentence with moi? What are you, like a rabbit? Moi! Oh, that was more Waluigi, but still. Can I have a coin? A good coin? Now, is that gold or is that good? Either way, fine, if it gets you out of my core. Yeah, thank ya. Okay, bye. Oh, the people are sad and the city is shrinking. Ah, it's not good. Hello, sexy witch. There's a bunch of goblins in the lower quarter. I'll slay them for a few gold coins if you want. Uh, I don't know if goblins are bad, but given the history of like fantasy novels and goblins, I'm gonna say they're bad, so yes. Slay them! I'll show those creeps. Oh, so they're creeps, okay. Mm -hmm. 
Hello. Any mysteries afoot? I can do some snooping for a small fee if you're interested. Uh, I haven't heard of any mysteries, and unless you're going to capture that monkey, I'm going to say no for now. Are you suggesting you know all the secrets of the universe already? That's not what I was implying, Skelly. I don't need your sass. Just leave. Grandma! The soup shops have been doing well as you've changed her accent again. I came to offer you our earnings. You, no, not what? No. You don't give me your earnings, you give me your tat. What? No. Don't give me your earnings. You're so humble, I'm proud of you. Are you my grandma or are you just like the town's grandma? Like just the, the, the old lady that everyone's like, oh, grandma, she's so sweet and lovely. Otherwise, like, Lil Fang. Lil Fang, I don't trust you. No. You live the rest of your life never knowing. I live most of my life never knowing anyway, so that's fine. Oh, the little kitty is cold. Can I have some food? Yes, I will feed every kitty in the land. God say somebody was eaten by an enchanted treasure chest of some variety in the middle of the night. Damn it, Chester, I said no to that. Gossip is spread about a heroic purple witch slaying goblin, goblins, <laughs> goblins in the lower quarter. She's become something of a folk hero. You go, witch. Population minus one, happiness 12, and wealth minus 12. People are happy and the city is growing. That is good to know. Uh, Yetu, I would like some money, please. What for? You look angry. Yes. Thank you for the money, good madam. This is good money. It is good money. What is it for? And why did I give you 100? Ah, my butler, my lady, is there a man? There is a man in the foyer asking to join your guard. He's got an eye patch. He looks a little shifty. Well, butler, you can't judge. Also, my, like, what's his name? Military guard has an eye patch. So really, I just think you're prejudiced against people with eye patches. So yes, we will take a chance on this eye patch stranger because we already have an eye patched guard. Indeed, more swords will help us. You are very quick to change your tune. Stay safe. The owner of the tavern are making piles of gold and wish to share some with you. Share some with you. Thank you. Uh, they should be taxed, but okay. Thank you. Stinky girl, want me to steal from the rich and give to you? No, stinky girl. Just no. You're the devil. You interested in making a deal, bub? Your people's souls in exchange for my gold. I'm gonna say no because I don't make any deals with the devil. Yeah, I'll get you next time, buddy. Uh, probably not. Uh, what's up now, Winston? Hey, uh, slime day. You got a present for me? <sighs> sure. Yay, you're so nice. Happy Slime Day, Winston, and happy Slime Day to you. Lil Fang, you feeling spooky today? Sure. Heck yeah, let the. Oh, that's not what I thought would happen. Lil Fang, why are you just causing. You're just such a menace. The people are happy and the city is growing. Wonderful. I need to get more money. Oh, petty swahi, squee! There's a mouse, should we chase it away? No, it looks very well educated with its own glasses and book. Squee! It seems happy. Hey Rapunzel, we've completed work on the garden. Are you pleased? Yes. I'm so glad. Ah, uh, hello, butler. Uh, yes, I'll take some tea. Nice and hot, madame. Goddamn Chester. No. 
Stop it. Stop it, Chester. Uh, yes. Ah! I took a chance, took a chance, and it paid off. No more chances. The people are happy and the city is growing. Tiny pancake! Yes, we are friends. We will always be friends. Now and forever more pancakes, we are friends forever. Little Fang, no. Last time I said yes, you ate my people. Uh, are you the Sultan? Oh, you're the, you're called the Sultan. Okay, I've got a business proposition for you in your tiny little town. Are you? Excuse me. I think you'll find that my town is not tiny. It is now upgraded to a city, and I ask you to pay the respect. But yes, I will be interested. I'll bring you details soon. That's very vague, but okay, bye. My sales are brought in record profits and I'd like to give you something as thanks. Will you accept my gift? Yes, because it's a gift. Very good, very good. Okay, thank you, blacksmith. Hey, yeah, yeah, I'm back. I found these shiny yellow stones. Pretty cool, right? Is it money? Yeah, oh my gosh, 60. Damn. Thanks, yeah, yeah. People are happy and the city is growing. Oh, we're growing upwards now. But now the city population is growing steadily. Our records of citizenship indicate that 250 people now call this city a home with a bigger city. We need to maintain even a higher happiness in order to keep people satisfied. Pay attention to the citizens and their issues to raise our happiness. I'm pretty sure that's what I've been doing anyway, Stacy. but thanks. Anyway, we have lots of work to do. Let's make the city even bigger. By the way, remember earlier when I mentioned the Council of Crowns? I do. I've heard a rumour that one of their members has been searching the land for a new ruler to join them. Ah, oh, perhaps they are aware of our progress. Oh, bad devil. No. No deals with the devil. Not in my city. Hi, Violet. The spirits are appeased right now, but perhaps we should grant them an offering of gold. All right. I know the spirits would always appreciate gold and it might prevent them from haunting us in the future. What do you say? 200 gold would be a decent offering. That's so much money for something that I'm not even sure is real. Fine. I'll conduct the ceremony and offer this to the spirit world. Okay, bye Violet. Ah, uh, my choice for you. Good day, madam. Do you require any haunting services for a small price? I'll scare some people for you. Uh, no. Very well, very well. Okay, bye. Stay safe! Builders wish to construct more houses in the town. They request gold, which would, could blah, 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 with which they could build much faster. Yes. I shall bring this to them right away. Our city grows. That it does, Stacy. That it does because the people are happy. My show seems to have gone over well. Blah, blah, blah. 400. I don't have 400. Do you see my pile of gold? There's not 400 in there. Also, you don't bring in any money, so 400 would just be like. Just. It would literally be a loss of 400. Miriam. Oh, what a strange place I found myself in. Albert, do you know where we are? Oh my oh my, hello you queenly person there. I do believe I'm a bit lost. Might I stay in this town for a while? Uh, yes, I'm sure we have a tavern or a hotel you can stay in. How nice, Albert and I shall find an inn to stay at. There you go. I'm sure I'll see you again. Albert seems to like you. How are people just wandering into my court? I do not understand. Well done, Violet. People are happy in the city is growing. We opened our borders, trade from our caravans have increased. Yes, tax them, that's how it works. Why are they the only things being taxed? I don't know. Sultan, yes, but you have to pay taxes. Ugh, I don't, still don't have that. I still don't have that, Jester. I still don't have that. 
Some refugees have arrived in town. Let them in! Yes, we will welcome them and we will help them. No, I don't trust you, Lil Fang. I don't trust you. Sultan's caravan resting in the town. Yeah! The people are happy in the city is growing. Uh, our soldiers are coming home and our assistance in defending our allies have not gone unnoticed. We've been offered a bounty of gold by the captain of their military. A good fellow. Hey, wonderful. Stacy, our granary stock has been infected. It will cost us to replace it. Yes, we will replace it immediately. Yes, our people's health is worth the cost. It is, Stacy. This is why you're my rural advisor. Uh, where are your legs? I will try and fix you, or I'll find someone to fix you. Okay, bye bye. Ah, oh, Madame Abiel, I accidentally stayed up all night eating candies. Can I have some gold to go to the doctor? Uh, yes. I never thought I could eat too many sweets. Uh, everyone should know that you could eat too many sweets. Gandalf. Uh, you're just too risky, and I just uh, can't. I can't. I can't do it. Yano, hello, hello. I'm Yano from the Comfy Kingdom. You may not believe this, but I am the royal assistant of King Ping himself. Indeed, the very same. I've been noodling around the kingdom of yours, and I. Oh wait, what's that over there? All okay, right, bye. Button boy. Good madam, did you happen to see a blue fellow come through here just now? Strange noodly limbs made of yarn. Uh, yes. I knew he was around here somewhere. I'm going to find that darned Yano. Been running around claiming to be the Kingpin's royal assistant, which of course he is not. In fact, it is I, Button Boy, who represents the com comfy kingdom in the esteemed Council of Crowns. Have you heard of the Council of Crowns? I have heard of the Council of Crowns. Then surely you thought about joining? Perhaps we could work out a bit of a deal. But Diano has been giving me nothing but trouble. If you could somehow put a stop to his shenanigans, I might be able to get you a meeting with Pia, the advisor of the Celestial Kingdom. If anyone would be able to induct your kingdom into the council, it would be her. What do you say? Will you help me catch the darn Diano? Yes. Very good. I'll leave the details to your discretion. Once Diano is out of the way, I'll set up a meeting with Pia. Thank you for your assistance in this matter, good madam. I'm sure we will meet again soon. Okay, bye. Whoa. Okay. Hello, hello. I'm a well. I'm a scientist. I do science for you, Queen. You see, the city is grown, and we have grown too. The science community, that is, from the Royal Council of Science, uh, of which I am the leader. Today, I simply wish to introduce myself, and now I have, I have. I'll wish you again. I'll visit you again in the future regarding our projects, science projects. Okay. Uh yes. Oh. Clean up your home. What does that mean? What? No. What do you mean clean up your home? As in like cleaned it? As in like you hired a maid and cleaned it? Um or like clean cleared it out as in like stole everything yes go find that person people happy in the city is growing that is good that is good to know caravan of mine wishes yes quite agreeable the owner of the tavern to make a pile of gold oh thank you tavern owner uh what okay take the gold it's not that big a deal jeez 400 you darn tootin' dragon how i can't i just got robbed oh full on robbed madam i heard about the dragon attack Yes, I need your help, my dear. 
craft it. Craft that blade. I will aid you in your search. Shiitake mushrooms. I didn't... Okay. Alright, bye. Looking for coin? I could cast some dark magic to summon some coal. No. Hilo, you're supposed to be good. Da, 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 da. Should we sell off some of our construction supplies to get a f out of date? Date? Debt? Oh, thank you, Mason. If you could, that'd be wonderful. This will set us back a bit, but we need the money right now. Mason, thank you, Mason. My townspeople are so nice. Ah. The escaped prisoner has been recaptured thanks to the bounty you offered. Wonderbar, our citizens can rest easier knowing that she's been put away again. We're slowly re-earning some money and hopefully we'll be able to get that dragon and get all the money back. 400 it stole! That's as much as Jester wanted. Mason, can I trouble you for a sandwich? Surely the cost of one sandwich ain't nothing to a great queen like you. Uh, sure. Because you helped me out earlier, Mason. And I will repay you for your good deeds. Mm, yes. <gasps> yeah! Ever since I became friends with that cat, it's only been good. Oh, Brits, are you going to help me? Boots! Boots! Yes, help me, Boots! Wow, a hundred coins of tuna? Pez. Alright, okay. No, Grandma! Keep your earnings! That's how it works! Thank you, wizard. I don't want to test my luck just yet. I'm a little bit unstable at the moment. I know, she's just speaking to that wizard. Is he bothering me? No. No. Everything's hunky dory, but thank you, Stacy. Oh, thank you, fisherman. still the I don't know if I trust you uh so no okay the prison is in need of repairs yes a few hundred? That's 250! Stacey, you lied to me! The plant people are hosting a party at the garden tonight, sharing their fresh fruits and vegetables to the villagers. Ah. Yes. Ah. Yes. Well done, Violet. I want the Castle of Crowns. Boots, catch a Yano. Scientist man. Our potion test has resulted in a bit of good fortune. Well, in a way, that is. You see, the test subject turned to gold upon drinking it. God damn it. You just killed people. No. A scientist. Oh my gosh, that happened like days ago. <sighs> yes. What the? Put a monkey in the dungeons. No, wizard. I don't trust. I don't trust you. I don't trust the vampire. I don't trust the devil. I'm not... I don't want your magic. Oh, he 
Not Yano. Yes, Council of Crowns, here we come. Ah, you got me. The cat which just wouldn't leave me alone until I came back here. Was it Button Boy that sent the cat? He's been trying to steal my position as advisor for years. I accept no substitute. Whoops, gotta run. You're very suspicious, Yano. God, seize the yarn. Well done, madam. I'm not sure how much part you actually played in this, but Yano's been found. I'm in a generous mood, so I'll set up a meeting with the advisor peer of the Celestial Kingdom. What do you mean you're in a generous mood? You said you would do that. You can't go back on your word because you weren't feeling good. You're quite busy, but you should expect her to come by sometime soon. Make sure the castle's nicely cleaned. You'll want to impress her. I know, she's speaking with the wizard again. Is he bothering you? No, he is not, but thank you for your concern, Stacy. Okay, bye, Stacy. bye. Some nasty boys have made a home out of our garden. Can we have some gold to hire and exter- Oh, bugs. Oh my gosh, I read that as boys, and I was like, you know you can't exterminate the boys, but yes, you can exterminate the bugs. That's fine. Violet, go slay em, girl. Oh, you've been gone for ages yet, yeah, yet. Yeah. But it is very cool. Well done, yet, yeah, yet. Yeah. Well done. Yes, we are. Yes, please. I would like a fresh cut. Yes, thank you. You look dashing, thank you. I look no different, but thank you. Hello again, queenly person. Who are but asked me to come here and tell a story with you? Yellow bird meets a green bird in the sky. Does the yellow bird soar higher than the green bird? No. Oh no, the yellow makes way for the green who pumps his wings and climbs even higher. Gliding on a gentle breeze, the green bird soon meets a blue bird. Does it make time to stop and sing? Yes. Oh, the sweet musical notes of the two new friends fill the air. The singing attracts a flock of nearby birds of all shapes and colours. The sky is filled with song. Oh, oh, what a lovely ending to the story, don't you think? Albert liked it. I will have to come visit you again sometime, queenly person. It's fun to tell stories with you. Thank you, Miriam. Yeah, Timmy, are you kidnapping these people? I think you're kidnapping these people. Little Timmy's a kidnapper. Ooh, you're new. Advisor Pia, greetings, I am Pia. Pia. I might have been pronouncing that name wrong the entire time. Pia, advisor to King Andromedus of the Celestial Kingdom. What a beautiful castle you have here. Everything is spotless. I was just wandering through your city and was quite impressed with your citizens. You know the Council of Crowns are searching for a fifth member. Is that something you might be interested in? Yes. I thought as much. Uninformed King Andromedus. I'm sure he'll be happy to meet you and discuss the details. Oh, exciting. Oh my, was that woman from the Celestial Kingdom? It was indeed, Stacy. It was indeed. Ooh, he's the head of the Council of Crowns. Oh, wow. Are we... What kingdom are we? Yes, we are friends. Citizens from far and wide come to visit my barbershop. Would you like a fresh cut, madam? Free of charge? Thank you. I made no money that day, but I didn't lose any money, and that's important. Might I have some gold to make an offering to the Ocean Shrine? Yes, you may, Mercury. Although you come from a different kingdom, so surely you should ask your monarchy? The spirits are appeased right now, but perhaps you grant them an offering of gold. I don't have 200. You always ask me when I don't have the money. You, just constantly giving me free haircuts. I don't think my hair's been growing that much in between each one, but thank you anyway. 
Look how we are growing. You're back. Make way, make way for King Andromedus, Lord of the Celestial Kingdom. You don't always need to make such a fuss of my entrances, Pia. Anyway, yes. Hello, good queen. I've heard so much about you and your people. We in the council are quite impressed with you and would love to induct you. There's just one small issue. All four of the existing council members must be present to induct a new member. But I'm afraid Queen Chanterelle and Queen Seraph are having a bit of a fight at the moment. We need to calm them down and settle their dispute before you can join the council. You should be hearing from their advisors shortly. I'm entrusting you with the task of reconciling the two queens. Best of luck to you and afterwards the seat of the council shall be yours. I'll keep an eye out for the advisors of the Ocean Kingdom and Plant Kingdom, madam. I'm sure we can settle whatever it is they're troubling their queens. Thank you, Stacy. No, Chester. Demands for my services? Sure, just raise them accordingly. Where is the dragon sword, blacksmith? Where's the dragon sword? Yes. Uh. Yes, we will tax the merchants. A hundred coins! I have, for half a second I thought it said a thousand. Fine, Chester, but you really need to not accidentally eat five people. I don't understand how you do that. Can I have a coin? Fine. Oh, the dragon blade. I purchased some top quality metals, but I'll need workers. Yes, I can spare a few men. Magnificent blade! Advisor Pontus. Good day, I'm Advisor Pontus of the Ocean Kingdom. Recently a dispute has raised between our Queen and the Plant Kingdom. A plot of marshland has been discovered and must be legally marked as one of Kingdom's properties. Since the marsh contains water, clearly it must belong to the Ocean Queen. Plant Queen refuses to listen to reason, however, and insists it should be hers. Will you support our claim to the Martians? Um, I don't feel like... I feel like Martians are usually just like covered in plants and stuff though. Isn't like 80% plants and like 20% water? I think it goes to the Plant Kingdom. I do. I do, I'm afraid. Pontus. Yes! I thought you were going to ask to raise your prices again. I was thinking, really, how much do you have to raise them? Chester! Ugh, Chester! I still don't have 700. I still don't have that jester. It's finally done! Dragon Blade! Yeah! Now we can get our money back. Yes, your friends can come over, little Timmy. Pineapple trader has denounced your rule. <sighs> no. Oh, uh, that might come back to bite me. I don't know. Yes, you may borrow a coin, Grandma. Um, hello, my name is Advisor Agaric. 
and I represent the plant queen, Chanterelle. You heard, I heard, we heard your announcement of the Ocean Kingdom is a matter of marshland. As a land filled with grasses and plant life, the marshes rightfully belong to the plant queen. Therefore, we of course thrilled to have your support. I offer our thanks on behalf of the plant kingdom. Good day to you. Since we opened our borders, yes, we will tax the merchants. Hello Queen, I'm a tree of the Western Forest. As you can see, however, I have been, well, shall we say, shortened. This is due largely, in fact, to the actions of the team of woodcutters. My home has been chopped clean through. In your reckless pursuit of expansions, you've now disrupted the lives of myself and my good tree folks, brothers and sisters. I demand compensations to repair this diplomatic rift between us. 1,000 coins? I don't have that, but uh, fine. So much money. Ugh. No. That's not what I meant, Stacy. It's not having gold is important, it's just being in debt is not. Good. Okay. I wonder what happens if I say yes. So you're the only person I haven't said yes to, Georgie. Yes. 400 for 20 people. That's not much, bub. That's not much. We'll be doing that again. Yes. It does warm my heart. No, Lil Fang, I'm not feeling spooky. Okay. 600. <gasps> Fine. Oh dear, things are not going well. No, Chester. No, witch. Thank you, my love. Thank you, Mason. Oh, it's you. Oh, it's ready. Okay. Sneaky, 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 sneaky. Oh no, I don't trust you, sneaky girl. I don't. Don't really have the money, I'm afraid, blacksmith. Yes, I do call this a castle. Leave me alone. No, thank you. Things are getting difficult, but at least the city is still growing. Hello, good queen. It seems the trouble regarding the marshlands has all been cleared up. Once clean, Chanterelle realized she won. She was willing to split the marsh with the Ocean Kingdom. Sometimes a leader just needs a bit of respect, you know. Well, either way, your input helped break the stalemate. For that, I am thankful now. As promised, your seat on the council. 
I'll help Pia make the final arrangements and inform you when we're ready to induct you. Thank you again for your assistance in this matter. Oh, how exciting! Since we open our borders, yes, we do want to tax the merchants. No, I don't require your services. It's the same mouse. Is he offering me something? I'm presuming yes. Ah, coins. Thank you. No, Gandalf. The dragon blade lies useless without a master. Some are beginning to lose hope the dragon will never be slain. Well, I haven't exactly had many people asking if they could be the dragon slayer, okay? It's not got much to do on me. No. Okay, thank you. Hey, uh, a very talkative shoe tump came in and gave me an earful. What's the deal? Yes, you have to listen to that thing. <sighs> You're being really sassy. You know what? Fine. I really hope you do your thing. Thank you, blacksmith. Nope. We have, we have one. She's going out there. The sneaky girl is going out there. I hope she helps and she doesn't steal. Yes, they can. Wonderful to see you again. Although I'm a bit sad, Alvin and I are going to be leaving. We'd like to wander our home. Besides, we mustn't overstay our welcome here. We'll be on our way tonight. Oh, might we have your blessing? Yes! Oh, thank you, queenly person friend. Our other thanks you as well. So lovely to have met you. I wish you nothing but happiness. Thank you, Miriam. Yes, you may go on an adventure yet yet. I don't have 700. I don't have... Oh, 500. I don't have that, I'm afraid. Come back in a bit, scientist. Yes. The creep queen? Of course. Always. Every time. Look, we're growing so beautifully. Oh, she didn't steal from us. Well, kind of. I mean, he took 400 and she gave us 250, but... Ugh. Okay, fine. No, nope. I do not wish to gaze. It's not a little town, Sultan. Come on now, don't be a douche. Okay, fine, fine, fine. I have 500 now, so that's why not. People are happy. No, I don't want to gaze into your crystal ball. Minus three again. Oh, jeez. No, Chester. Fine, little Timmy. Fine. <gasps> Beautiful. Good day, madam. We're ready to officially induct you in the Council of Crowns. There are a few formalities to observe. Can I skip over these? Yes. Ooh, thanks. It really doesn't matter. In this way, I won't end up losing my voice. 
All right, gather round, everyone. I'm an advisor for Celestial Kingdom Queens, blah, blah, blah. You're a queen too. You're a good queen. We're inviting you. You're accepting. It's all very well and good. On behalf of the Council of Crowns, I now pronounce you a crowned queen. All right, we're done. You're in. Now that you're part of the council, representatives from other kingdom may come to you for your help. Make sure you do your best to assist them. And sincerely, congratulations. The council is the highest rank to which a queen can rise. Ah. Well, I guess if that is the highest a queen can rise, I think I might end it there. Thank you so much for watching. If you like that, please hit the like button. If you want to see more content coming to you, uh, please hit the subscribe button and the little bell for notifications. Uh, let me know if you want to see more games like this or if you want me to just continue with this game as well. Let me know in the comments. But for now, see you later. Bye.